Welcome back to Loomis. I'm Sue and I'm here to clear up some common misunderstandings about the Loomis prototype function. Let's keep things simple. Uploading fonts to the custom font page isn't enough. It's just like the step one to do what you want. You still need to go to the printed type you use for the product you need. I would call it D. Select resource. And then you add all the font names you want to use when designing with this product D. You stay in the print type you selected. Click on the layout tab and pick or deselect the component box you want. This function is really useful when you want buyers to be able to use or not use a design components when designing a specific product. As an example, you want the buyer to have a shape with a cup, but it can be used with a custom hoodie. This video has come to an end. Uh, I hope it was helpful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye and see you soon.